Number four, Crockett Economic and Industrial Development Corporation report by the Executive Director, James Jutra. Okay. Thank you. Mayor, Thank you. Also, Thank you. Bringing uh, up to date uh, report of some of your last season, you said it transcribed over the last three months. Uh, our office location and plans to resume normal office operation. As soon as the offices are in good working condition, CIDC is still formulating a strategy plan for new office locations if the CIDC cannot remain in the current location. Office phone and forwarding. Until the CIDC has a permanent office and all offices are in good working condition, the phone can be rolled over to my uh, work cell phone, number 903-394-1138. Email and website status. Our new email for a CIDC is jjgentry03 at gmail.com until we can uh, develop a more formalized uh, account. Uh, presently, the website has been uh, discussed and we have proposals for a reconstruction of our website due to the fact that the age of the website is beyond its coverage at this time and can be updated for the full operational sector of that as soon as we get the proposals. Uh, document storage and record keeping. We're in the process of organizing the offices that are in disarray and will notify each of you of the progress of reorganization close to the end of September. We are in the process of implementing a records management retention policy going forward. The executive assistant's office planned and returned to work instructions. The executive assistant will return to work on September 3rd, 2024. Another business uh, addressing a former employee's complaint. Documentation is being gathered for a full investigation. Since my records were removed and boxed, I'm continuing the retrieval of files. Plans for corrective action plans. Implementation, bylaws and policy review meeting dates and times. Whenever the attorney of record working on the corrective action plan completes them and they are approved by the board of directors of CIDC and the governing body of the city of Crockett, city council, we will be able to implement the approved CAP or corrective action plan. Projects. Since June of 17th, I've been diligently coordinating with project coordinator Nancy Women to work closely with her on all active projects, including ANA, which had uh, in the past week activities where they did an overview of their properties that they are developing now with the intent of growing uh, additional buildings on the site, stealth religion. Project Atticus, which is being discussed in, in, in deliberations right now with the project manager. <laughs> Foreign trade regional implementation. We're looking at doing a regional uh, foreign trade designation for our area. One of the challenges that we've seen over the years with several projects is not having a foreign trade designation for our area. And with the help of the Texas Forest Partnership, we are looking at making it a regional effort to bring foreign trade uh, designation for our full East Texas region. The Railsburg uh, here up to the south of town is in the process of discussions right now and expanding with CRH to accommodate uh, additional tonnage at that Railsburg. Along with that, we are also in discussions and have been for some time with the text that looking at US 287. US 287, as most of you that are here today, has been a long term thoroughfare through East Texas, leading all the way to the Panhandle. One of the things that we approached two years ago with TxDOT and others was looking at considering putting that in the realm of a high-speed uh, where we will have a uh, 
interstate highway that will come through our region and allow us to grow the tonnage of transportation through our communities of East Texas as well as bring a smart internet or interstate to the area with the new technologies that come forward. I am also serving on a work group with TxDOT and we've had several meetings in terms of that, uh, the viability of doing that and the impacts that it could have on our community is significant. A budget, as you know, last week, we, uh, two weeks ago, we presented the 24-25 budget and it was submitted as at the last council meeting. So with that, I'll conclude our notes for the day. Any questions? Any questions? What we do appreciate is, I know this is getting back into the role of things, uh, and I know a lot of it's going to have as detailed as it is, but it is well noted that there are all of the items that are in progress, and it is going to take some time to balance them out, and so we're looking forward to being balanced. Thank you so much for your report.